already enjoyed. hi guys welcome back energy is low today it is currently tuesday it's like 11 a.m but it's day one of my period and i'm just so drained but i didn't want to leave you guys hanging this week so i thought let me bring you along on a little like this is empty that's really great i'm gonna have to get more of this and i just know it's not gonna be cheap it's a la roche posay moisturizer basically but it's fine i've got cerave i'm gonna use this one um i normally use this for my body but it will have to do for now so yeah as i was saying i thought i'd bring you guys on a little like self-care day keeping it chill nothing too crazy i'm gonna be out and about like i'm literally getting ready to leave the house now to go to the bfi which is like the biggest cinema screen in London. Been very kindly given a ticket to go check out one of the new films that's come out in IMAX. So looking forward to that. You know when you're just like drained? Like <laughs> That's just my body's way of trying to tell me like, hey, can you just like give me a sec to recalibrate and like go through this? And then, you know, let's pick this up in a few days time. But um, we have no option but to continue. Tomorrow I've got the full day at home. So that'll be really nice. Like just go for a nice long walk. I'll take a bath for like eight hours and just like really <laughs> I actually am really happy that I've got things that I need to do and I feel like last month I didn't really make an effort to keep myself busy and then I just got really carried away and just let myself spiral into really unhealthy habits like I wasn't really eating which then made me feel even more drained and even more sick like that's just not ideal do you know what I mean like especially when you're already losing so many nutrients so I now know it's not that I didn't know before but I now I'm very very keen to just like feel fine in like three or four days so it means I need to stay going for my walks stay eating get some nutrition yeah it's a very busy week because I'm out of the house from Thursday afternoon until Monday it's so exciting because I'm going to a festival and not just any festival it's a country music festival and you guys know how much I love country music <laughs> I have to get everything that I need to do done at home and like on my laptop and stuff ideally by mid Thursday as I said I'm gonna go to the cinema and then I'll take myself to a gallery it's been a minute since I've done a nice like gallery visit maybe the Tate Modern walk around go for my long walk in London I really want to get like a nice juice I know that sounds ridiculous but like Joe and the juice like a nice like hearty organic you know real food type of juice just so that i can you know as i said keep the nutrition up i'm gonna finish getting ready and then we'll head out and spend a nice day in the city all right i need to leave like right now kept it very simple with the outfit just a plain cream beige top and then my black trousers i'm gonna take my backpack as well so i can bring my laptop i'll probably do some work on the train might go into a cafe at some point and do some work as well but yeah let's get going <laughs> picked up a meal deal super quickly on my way to the BFI don't judge my very basic boring order but do let me know your meal deal order in order your meal deal selections in the comments <laughs> guys just finished at the bfi first of all i can't believe this was my first time ever coming here especially because i'm such a film lover i feel like this should have been high up on my priority list for a very long time especially to see something like black panther or like spider-man no way home back in the day i feel like i always wanted to i'm happy to have gone now i'm definitely gonna see some more stuff the sound like the sound design was just incredible i can't even like wrap my head around it i saw blue beetle but um thoroughly enjoyed thoroughly enjoyed this whole experience so thank you to imax i'm gonna make a move now and we'll catch up in a sec <laughs>
Tate Modern. It's been a long time since I've just been to a gallery in London. I feel like it's because I've been to all of them at least once before, all the free ones anyway. And I feel like they don't regularly change their collections, but the Tate Modern do have a number of different exhibitions that you can pay for that rotate in and out. But to be honest, even the free collection, I hadn't refreshed my memory of it in a very long time. So it was really nice to be able to go. I'm also testing out this lens a bit more, still getting used to the wide angle. Next, I want to practice my color grading because it's been a minute since I've shot anything in S-Log3, which is basically like shooting video completely raw. And then you bring the colors out when you're color grading. Right now, I'm not doing that. These streets are so beautiful. I'm just walking around the like Waterloo Blackfriars area, um, very close to the Tate Modern actually. Everything still feels very much like how it looks in history books in some sort of way. I just saw like a really old car down there, like a vintage beetle or something, very cool. But yeah, right now I feel like I still need to get my Joe in the Juice, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm probably gonna make my way home in a bit, but I'm really enjoying just like gallivanting, enjoying the sun. I do wanna do a proper walk later on at home. I normally do that between like seven and eight, now that the sun is still out, just before it gets to autumn and we lose all the daylight. I'm trying to make the most of it. But yeah, as I was saying about the Tate Modern, it's been a minute since I've just explored a gallery and I definitely want to explore more of them. There's a few galleries and museums that you have to pay for entry that I haven't been to like the Fashion and Textiles Museum. I was looking online today and I think the tickets are like £20 but the collections do look really interesting so I feel like that will be next on my list of things to do next time I'm you know planning like a cute like self-care solo date day in London um, but yeah just made it to the supermarket. I feel like if I don't come straight from the train station to the supermarket, I would have just ended up ordering food or doing like a drive through or something like that. So I just decided, let me come here straight away. It's, what is the time? Why is my phone dead? It was working three seconds ago. It's like 6 p.m., which is quite good. So I'll just do a mini food shop, go home, eat dinner, and then go for like an hour's walk before getting in the bath. I'm so excited. So yeah, I don't know what's happened to my phone. I need you to work. Oh no, guys. Well, I'm gonna make this work and then we're gonna go in. This has honestly become one of my favorite things to make. It's so easy, so simple. It's just cucumber, cherry tomatoes, a bit of red onion, and then this homemade honey vinaigrette. I also like to sprinkle a bit of basil in there too. And that's the end of my day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a great week ahead. But yeah, I'm gonna go now and I'll see you next time. So bye.